The following video is not a tutorial. It is a sped up screencast of the full creation of a mobile app that is meant to give you the feeling of what it is like to develop in Alpha Anywhere. A copy of the script used to create this video is available on the Alpha Software New User Support webpage. This is a demonstration of creating a simple mobile application using Alpha Anywhere. The app that we'll build is for use by attendees at a conference. It lets them see the overall schedule, as well as details, and also have access to general information. This is the design view of the UX Builder. The first thing we'll do is create a panel navigator and have it control two panel cards to hold the content, each with a header. We'll set the name of the first panel card to be Conference Schedule and the second one to be Details. We'll preview what we have built so far in a simulated smartphone running on our desktop browser. This is the default carousel type of navigator. Back to the UX Builder, we add a panel card after the navigator and put the text information in it. We then wrap everything in a second panel navigator and set its carousel type to top to bottom, and then preview. We add a footer to the new panel navigator and put a button group container into it. We add two buttons and label the first one Schedule and the second one Info. We change the panel navigator type to Tab Buttons. We then hook up the two buttons to switch between the Schedule panel cards and the Information panel card. And Preview. Carousel, and Tab Button. We add a header to the Information Panel card and move the title into it. We add a new static text control to the panel card body and paste in some HTML. Here's what it looks like now. We add a list control to the conference schedule panel card and set it to fill its container. We go into the list properties and fill in some static data for the list. We'll paste that in. The first row has some of the field names, session, title, room, and description, and the other rows have the data, such as session 2, a keynote in the ballroom. We then set the list layout to show session, title, and room, and then preview. To make the listing more polished, we switch the list layout type from column to freeform and specify the template in HTML using placeholders for the field values. Let's make tapping on a row show the details. We edit the JavaScript for the on-click event. We find the panel navigate method, looking at the description and example context-sensitive documentation. We insert the method prototype and set it so that it navigates to the next panel card. Next, we put in a Done button to return to the list and center the title in the header. We put in a static text control and change its ID to Detail Text. We add to the on-click JavaScript to update detail text with HTML computed from the selected row's field values. Instead of using static schedule information, let's build a grid component to run on a desktop browser that lets us have a dynamic list. We hook the grid component up to a simple SQL database that has data for the list. This component will let us create and update the list of sessions that displays in the mobile app using a desktop browser. It has both a list and an editable form in a detail view. We'll add a couple of words to the keynote description and save. We go back to the mobile UX component and change its list's data source from static data to the SQL database. We can set the list to have group breaks 
in this case on the session number. We can set the template for the group header. Finally, we add a group header lookup dictionary to make the header more user-friendly. Here's the completed app. And here it is on an iPod Touch. And a Google Nexus 7. That completes this demo of creating an app with Alpha Anywhere.